is no need to lose your style mojo during the winter months. In this video, I'm gonna share five ways to instantly add glamour to your winter wardrobe. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are regular watchers, you know that if anybody knows winter, it is me. I grew up in upstate New York, Watertown, New York to be exact, and I looked up just now how many sunny days in Watertown, New York. <laughs> it is one of the least sunny places on planet Earth. So you wanna know what the answer is? Dun, dun, dun. 162 days of sun. Wow. Just to put this into context, here in Madrid, Spain, 350 sunny days per year. I know the snow and the cold. I grew up with it. I also live in it in Colorado. So in this video, I wanna share some of my favorite tips to help you add some glamour back to your winter wardrobe. And be sure to stay all the way with me through the end because I have two awesome bonus tips. Let's get started. Tip number one is to buy a faux fur hat or a faux fur headband. So here is an example of a faux fur hat that I absolutely love. Anything that's of this type, very Russian inspired. This one is from Express, sold out, but they're all over Etsy. So we'll put a link to a couple of our favorites below in the description box. This is just so glamorous. It's so beautiful and not to mention, it keeps you warm too. So it's dual purpose, keeping that noggin warm while also adding that instant glamor to your look and it doesn't mess up your hair either, which I appreciate and love. I have this one in white and then I also have a black one back in Colorado. I also have a kind of grayish headband that I wear from time to time, just the headband itself. I wear these all the time because personally, I still want to feel glamorous. I still want to look stylish and feel fashionable. And I feel like that's a really easy, simple way to do it. While again, keeping the functionality of the warmth, right? Cause it is winter and you need warm stuff. Tip number two is to wear a faux fur coat or jacket. I am the hugest fan of faux fur, again, because of the glam factor on the glamometer, we're like dit, 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 nearing that 10 mark, right? Faux fur jacket coats are just absolutely stunning. So beautiful, so feminine, so glamorous. You could do any color you want from black to brown to red to white to pink. They have them all. I have featured several on this channel. I've featured a reversible one in kind of a reddish color, featured another red one. I featured a white one that I love that I got at Nordstrom many years ago. I have a lot of different colors and I wear them all. I featured a brown one by Blank NYC. That's really pretty. So whatever color palette speaks to you, whichever silhouette speaks to you, whether you want the shorter one or the longer one, I will say if you are in a legit cold climate, the longer version is going to keep you warmer because it will cover the hips, butt, and thighs. Whereas the shorter version obviously leaves your hips, butt, and thighs exposed, which will keep you cooler. So it just depends on what your needs are and depends on what your climate is. The beautiful thing about the faux fur hat and the faux fur coat is that they are very affordable also. Like they do not have to break the bank. Like this one I said is from Express. It was under $30. The faux fur I just showed you from Blank NYC is under $100. Like there are options that are very affordable. So not only can you add that like instant glam factor, beep, 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 you also can do it very affordably. The next tip to add that instant glamour to your winter wardrobe, because who wants to look frumpy dumpy in the winter? No one, not me, not you. By the way, one of the most popular videos on the channel is actually a video about creating winter outfits that aren't frumpy. So we'll put a link to that below and up here in cards as well. If you wanna go and watch that video after this one, it would be a great reference video, especially for those of you in extreme cold climates. Next tip is to wear winter white. I just showed you the faux fur winter white hat, which I love. I have on kind of a wintry white sequin top. Could add a scarf and then a winter white coat over it. And all of a sudden you look like a million bucks. You look super, super luxe and expensive. That's another one, another video I've done looking more expensive, but here is a very simple way, an affordable way, by the way, all of this is express, of doing it that's going to keep you warm and not going to break the bank. And I just think it looks so beautiful and so feminine and will definitely beep, 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 be way up on the glamometer. The so winter white is a must. 
best when you want to add and bring on the glamour. The next way to bring on a little glamour to your winter wardrobe is to add color. And not just color, but like a beautiful bold color like this flamingo pink. It can add so much just brightness, lightness to your face and so much pop to your look. Definitely elevating it, definitely adding the glam factor and some excitement and interest for that winter wardrobe. Now, if you're concerned about wearing just a wool coat or even a wool blend coat and it not being warm enough, I have showed you in another video where I talk about layering and how to layer expertly for the cold that you can always wear your wool coat over your puffer jacket or puffer coat. Just make sure that your puffer is lightweight so it won't be too bulky. And then you put your puffer on first, then layer your wool coat or jacket over it for a very warm and yet glamorous, beautiful winter outfit. By the way, hopefully by the time this video is up, I'm already back in Colorado. We're finishing up our time here in Madrid, Spain. If you have any questions about that or wanna know why we're here, why we came, how we did it, blah, blah, blah. I did a whole video about that as well as a blog post that you can check out. We will put a link to that video below and also in the cards as well. The next tip to help you add instant glam to your winter wardrobe and a high score on your glamometer is to wear heeled booties. And you're like, what? Has Erin lost her freaking mind? No, I have not. Basically now I only wear heeled booties and I usually pick either a Sorel Joan of Arctic with a wedge or I'll do like my C by Chloe booties with the chunky lug sole heel that's very good in anything slippery. It has that traction, it's a rubber sole. Unless you are sledding with your kids or something and really trudging through the snow, you don't really need those snow boots that are for extreme cold. Back in the day when I lived in Watertown and I would be outside for work all day long, I needed those negative 30 boots. But now I'm just usually going from place to place and I'm walking a little bit, but I'm not trudging through snow and I'm not out there for hours. Now I feel like I have more options when it comes to my snow boot choices. I obviously want them to be water resistant and I also want them to be warm warm, but it doesn't have to be like the warmest of warm boots, which by the way, often are the least attractive and the heaviest. Like, you know, those old school Joan of Arctic's by Sorel, they're so heavy. The newer versions are light as feathers. They're really cool. They still give you the warmth and they also give you the height. So if you're petite like me and you're all layered up and you got all your stuff on and then you wear flat boots, it really can feel like like you're looking a little frumpy. When I throw on a wedge or a heel booty, a chunky heel booty with the rubber sole, I just feel so much more long and tall and powerful and confident. And it just adds that glam that I'm looking for in the winter months where it is trickier to really feel more feminine and feel more stylish because you're so bundled up. Stay with me because I have two more bonus tips, but I think where people really go wrong is that they do not put enough emphasis on the outerwear. With your winter wardrobe, outerwear is everything. It's everything. Your coat is everything. Whether it's a really stylish black puffer that's belted at the waist, or whether it's the wool coat I showed you in pink layered over your puffer, or the winter white beautiful coat layered over puffer, make strategic outerwear choices and that will really help to step up your winter wardrobe style game immensely. And then don't just have one winter coat that you wear every single day. Maybe have two or three that you can kind of mix it up and mix and match and switch things up. Again, doesn't have to break the bank either. You can go like one faux fur coat, one wool coat, and one elegant puffer. The beautiful thing about puffers, these are traditionally the warmest winter coats. They've come so far and they're not just the sleeping bags of yesterday. You can get the long puffer coat now and it can be a beautiful piece with a belted waist. Or there's one that I'm looking at by Elisabetta Funky, which has a belted waist and an A-line skirt. And I think it's so dramatic dreamy and beautiful. Thinking about your puffer and not just in a utilitarian way, but how can I find a puffer that has a little bit of style to it as well? We will put some links below to puffers that we really love. Go-to brands traditionally for me for puffers for skiing have been Perfect Moment, Sam New York, kind of random ski brands like Sportom, Tony Seiler. You could also go more fashion-y like I just talked about with Elizabeth the Funky or other designers that are coming out with puffer coats. So just thinking about your puffer in a different 
different way and thinking about does it have a beautiful feminine element to it that makes it interesting and something that you're excited to wear because that will be your heavy hitter and I think it's important that you pick out a piece that really will be something you love wearing and you feel incredible in because remember we want to go for the 10 on the glamometer. <laughs> As promised, my bonus tips. My bonus tips are don't be afraid to wear sequins. Why not? I mean, I know New Year's over. I know, you know, party season's over, but why not? Especially something in a muted palette like this. Wear the sequins. That's definitely gonna, you know, up your glamometer. And I'm just wearing this with jeans. It's fine to wear with jeans. You can wear sequins during the day. I am granting you permission. The other thing you can do is add glam lipstick. If you're doing the whole winter white thing, like I'm doing in these photos and then you add that bright bold red lip it just looks so striking and beautiful and definitely adds the glam factor so I have a specific type of lipstick that I wear all the time for bright bold lipstick because it does not move it does not whisker it does not bleed and it stays put even when you wear masks even when you drink even when you eat it is by Sephora my two favorite colors are always red and this one in something pink I don't know We'll look it up. <laughs> but those are the two colors that I alternate between. And if you want to soften the red, you can always layer like a lighter pink like I'm wearing right now over it or a gloss over it. But I'm telling you, this lipstick is the best. That is like the most instant, quickest way to add that pop to your winter wardrobe. That is also the most affordable way to do it. Just a quick reminder to watch those videos I referenced about layering for winter and also winter outfits to not look frumpy. Both of those are great videos and kind of take a deeper dive into the how and how to put your outfit together. This is more like just quick tips to help you with the glamour factor. But those are really great videos. So you're going to want to go back and watch those. If you have not already hit that subscribe button, please subscribe. Maybe share my channel with one of your friends or tell your friends about it. I'd really appreciate it. How many days of sun in your town or city every year? Look it up and share in the comments. I want to know. It's so interesting to me. As somebody who grew up with no sun, now living in a very sunny place and now temporarily living in a very sunny place where it's sunny every day, I think it has a big impact on your mood and your overall quality of life. So it's just interesting to take a look at that and see kind of where you stack up. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Really appreciate your support. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.